All right, everybody. We good? Good. We're yeah. going to start because it's 7.02 and you are here. Yeah. Yeah. So let's uh, say a prayer and we'll go from there. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, uh, thanks again for uh, gathering us. We pray, though, soon and very soon there'll be an end to Zoom <laughs> and that we can see each other face to face and uh, just ask you to bless us and Grace us with your uh, presence and insight and your word this night. May we just be uh, ears wide open, eyes wide open. As you bless us, I ask God to bless you and your families. May you be lifted up in the joy and the presence of the risen Jesus now. And as we gather this night, in your precious name, we pray, Jesus. Amen. 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 Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'm gonna turn, uh, Bob's going to show you a little what we're going to do tonight. Got, Bob's going to show you a little bit about social media. And then I got a little something to say. We'll break up in small groups and then get back for a final prayer. Yeah. Hey. Bye, Hello, Bob. everyone. Hope you're all having a good night. Glad you're here. Thanks for joining us. Love to do this and spend a little time sharing. Um, here we go. We're going to share a screen real quick. And uh, we're going to go over here. Now, a few people are looking for the, uh, the meeting number. So I'm trying to work on two things at one time, the ID number. Um, I hope you didn't have any problems signing in. You shouldn't need it, but for some reason, it's asking that for a few people. Hey, so when we get to uh, back back to our um, homepage, obviously we went over this last week. There's our homepage, and uh, on the homepage at the bottom is our social media tabs. So if you scrolled all the way down to the bottom, they show up down here. So you got Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram, YouTube channel. And, and uh, so it's just always on the bottom here. You can email the parish. Mm -hmm. So when you click on the Facebook tab, I've already got these open just because it's shorter to uh, launch them. It brings you over to our Facebook page. It would be really great to have comments on here. You can, um, one of the, one of the uh, biggest things you can do is go down here, right here, recommendations and reviews. You can re refer or recommend St. Charles, um, uh, Michelle Fernandez and, uh, and Nick Cutter do a lot of work here getting uh, postings up, but we probably will start leaning more towards on the social media. It's not so much announcements as we will be taking pictures of events that we do so that you can just see yourselves in there. So for example, the adoration night, we'll get all those pictures uploaded. We had uh, one of the preachers took a lot of pictures and put them on there. Here's the drive by blessings we had one Sunday and you can sit there and scroll through all the <laughs> pictures and see yourself. So it's just kind of fun. Keep us connected, make comments write a review in there. And we have all of our social medias. If, if uh, you like that, there's the Instagram. And uh, I told Deb I would throw in a, a word for her. If you go over to the preschool, this is the preschool or the school's website, the exact same thing. Go on their social media. If you got kids in the school, you can get over to their Facebook page. Same thing. You can write reviews, recommend it, like pages. And just build up a social media following for what we do. We'll try not to be invasive in your lives because I know all this then shows up on your feeds and stuff. We'll just try to keep it more light. Here's some pictures of some of the events we've done and, and uh, just keep the fun going all day long with the, uh, with the, with the uh, St. Charles social media stuff. So we just encourage you to be on all that. You can also go to the YouTube channel and follow it. So that's another way and all of our videos then we'll tag to you when you sign into YouTube and you can see any of the latest videos we have. So I just wanted to make you aware of that. Pretty simple. I'm gonna turn it back over to Father John. He's got a message to share with us tonight. And then we're going to do the same thing we did last week. Just going to kind of prepare you and do a little share group. Uh, we got really positive feedback. It was really fun for people to kind of meet and say hi to a few other people in the parish. So just be prepared, be prepared to uh, share a little bit, keep it real life, but just a chance for you to say hi to a few other parishioners. And then, uh, then we'll end with a little social time. Let everybody say hi to each other. Go a little, <laughs> a little nutty on the, uh, on the, uh, on the, uh, the Brady Bunch board here. So I'll turn it back over to Father John. Thanks for entertaining me with that. All right. Uh, so this has to do, uh, I heard a rather a great speech or someone was given a talk the other day and it's very clear. I think it made a lot of sense. It's about home. And so we're all at home. And if you think about home, what does home mean? You know, for me, it meant security. It meant uh, connection. It meant embrace. It meant safety. But uh, this, this speaker was talking about home and how we've left home. And the first people to leave home were the, the fathers. And they left home at the Industrial Revolution. And then the second people to leave home were the, the mothers, the, the women at the Sexual Revolution. And I've got to be involved in you know the workplace or whatever. And then the third that's left home is the children. And they've left home because of technology. And uh, you know, so yes, we might be in the same physical space, 
and occupying that space, but uh, there's, there's not that idea of home so much because uh, the men and the, the women and the children have been taken out of the home. So even as they're living in the home. So maybe for your reflection, just share about that. Maybe just, you know, quick idea about that. And then one thing you're going to do as family and or friends, I know we're not all with family tonight, but how are you going to bring it home? How are you going to come out of this and say, we're going to, we're going to bring this home. We're going to, we're going to stay connected. I know my own family, we've been, I've been connecting with all my brothers every Sunday night. Uh, they've been, uh, their children have been connecting with each other and they've been bringing it home. And that's just really about knowing each other. And again, you, you can't love that, which you do not know. So how, how, how are we going to do this coming out? So we're going to break up into small groups right now to talk about that and uh, how we can keep bringing it home and how we'll continue to, to bring it home. Okay. So that. That's a quick uh, encouragement. So again, you know, how all these new things, we're all home. One of the comments we do hear a lot is, oh, dad told me the other day, I never had so many dinners with my family in all my life. And last couple of months, you know, home every night for dinner. And uh, it, it's kind of new. So uh, let's share what's been working for us and what we'd like to keep uh, going in this uh, when we do come out of this. All right. So we're going to give you a little warning. When, uh, when the share groups are up, you're going to be randomized. Introduce yourself, and um, and I have to. There we go. Breakouts. So we'll get you in there. Sign 44 people. There you go. So just go ahead and go into your break rooms. Just hit uh, accept. Share who you are. Say hi to everybody. Quick sharing, and we'll give you a warning to come back. Ellie, come in. What do you hit? Hey, Tim, go ahead and hit join and get in your room. There you go. So I got a few, it looks like maybe phone call people, Frank, Carolyn, Jamie, Pete. Are you guys having any problems getting into your rooms? I can unmute you here. You're all muted. We'll meet. No. No. Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Hi, everyone. Michelle. Hi. So right now I have you still on the main screen. Were you not able to see where uh, it said join? Hi. You know, we have an unfair advantage, uh, Frank, Nancy, and myself. Uh, we're, uh, we're gambling. <laughs> 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 That sounds better, concert goers. Yes, concert goers. Right? Yeah, we just happen to pass by a few slot machines on the way to the concert. <laughs> Okay, well, let me see. You're all still in the main room, so let me see if I can organize this a little bit better. So I see one that says Frank's phone. Who Who is actually that? We haven't had so many family dinners. Was so that you, Sal? And Allie is at our house, and so she's here for dinner, although she's, uh, she resigns uh, at her apartment, but she's here for Okay, let me mute you for a second. Then I see uh, Pete Dolan. Are you there? Fran. Is that Fran? That's Pete. I'm here. Hey, Pete. How are you? Okay, so you're still in the main room, but we can do a little share group here. Let yeah. Me... Great. Uh, Pete, why don't I just start with you, and we'll come back to Sal. What uh, What's going on at, uh, working for you at home these last couple of weeks? Is something you'd like to keep going? No. All ends. Uh, not much. I'm blessed. I'm still very busy working a little bit. Um, I, I Kind of business as usual for me, but I still stay to myself. But anyway, just checking in with your meetings the last few weeks, trying to get the word. And I just don't put my picture on because I'm comfortable at home. You know, I don't know if my picture's on. I hope not. But anyway, enjoy the meeting. No, that's great. Glad to have you here. Are you able to see us? I've got just my static picture up right now. I don't have the video feed on. Yeah, I can see everybody and move it around. I'm kind of just learning it, but I'm in my boxers. I'm eating dinner, so I. <laughs> That's great. Okay. No, and then I... Next week, I'll prepare more. Oh, no, no, no problem. So uh, we've been losing people as we started talking. So it's just uh, it's you, it's Sal, and there's there's two Frank phones. So I don't know if they're both the same people. 
So we only got five minutes, and then we'll bring us back to uh, the large groups. Sal, can you hear us? Oh, let me unmute you. Sal, are you there? Not regularly, because I actually live in, in Scripps Ranch, where Father oh, you know what? Okay, Pete, I, I see. I think I see what's going on. <laughs> I think he's got two devices on, and he's actually in a chat room with somebody, and on another device near Sal. It's picking up his voice because I can hear him talking in the chat room. So why don't you just hang on with us for now? Looks like Sherry's in here with us. Hey, Sherry, how are you? Good. Welcome. I've got the grandkids with me, but they're okay. They're watching a movie. <laughs> so you're in the main screen with Pete and I. Uh, I got two Frank phones on here, but I think both of them are possibly Sal. I don't know. When I turn on, when I unmute one of the phones, it's, I can hear Sal talking in the background. So I think he's got a, a phone on. Anyways, um, anything going on with your, uh, the question tonight, Father asked to share is what's going on during the, uh, the lockdown here that you would keep the same in your life after it ended? Kind of shared a thought about, and he shared it with us at staff today, you know, about the, the industrial revolution took the men out of the household and the sexual revolution took the women out of the household and the technology revolution is taking kids out of the house. And now we're all back in the house all of a sudden. So it's different. Now, I know you don't live with the whole family. You're with your son and lives in a, you're in the granny flat. But has anything happened in your life that you would keep the same coming out of this? I myself would keep the fact that um, the connection with the family and the connection with their core family that they have with the husband and wife and the children and being respectful of being part of the family but knowing boundaries and be able to then retreat to my own place and um, be prayerful and what is best for me as well. Yeah, that's a lot of takeaway. We've got a lot of quiet time during this, our downtime for most of us. Yeah, it's a lot, Bob. It's a lot. I had another, looks like phone, or at least a name join us, but I don't see a picture. Jamie Joy 78. Who's that? Are you there? Jamie? Let me unmute you. Uh, I can't unmute them. All right. Well, uh, anyways, thank you. I'm going to start. Uh, I have to just pay attention here. I'm going to start allowing people to come back in. I don't even know how long we've been. <laughs> Peter, you've been keeping track. How long have we been doing this? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's 7.15. <laughs> I'm supposed to only give everybody 15 minutes and I have no idea because I, the father and I are sharing a computer, so I couldn't work while he was talking. Yeah, no problem. 7.15 right now, but these are enjoyable. So very good. Good. All right. I'm going to start bringing everybody back. We'll just keep it real short here. So close all rooms, broadcast the message. Coming back in 30 seconds. There it is, the message. Here we go. Close all the rooms. And people will be coming back. Say hi. We're saying hi to Jesus tonight. Oh my goodness, what an hour you have. Ooh. <laughs> okay. That's a beautiful one. Hmm? You can just go back in. Okay, so I've called them all back in so you can unmute yourself. And un I'm unmuted. And then Hi, Leticia. Hi, Christy. <laughs> Can you meet? Can you hear me, you guys? Hi, Sandy. Yes. yes. Yeah. Forty two. Can you hear me? Hi. Okay. I. I awesome. Yes, I hear you. <laughs> Forty two. Okay. Great. Awesome. If you could just mute for a second, then we'll unmute you, and you guys can have ambient noise to <gasps> the infinity. Great. Raise your hand if you, you met somebody new tonight in our parish. Raise your hand. Anybody meet somebody new? Okay. Wonderful. Uh, okay. Screen. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. 717 and you are loved. Hey, uh, so we're 
anxiously anticipating obviously moving back into church but we want to you know be with the governor be safe but uh, we've got some ideas but one thing is uh tomorrow the pastors of my deanery so my deanery is a area of cluster of parishes about 12 15 in this area that we're meeting with the bishop via phone to to figure out how to you know phase back in so things are up in the air <laughs> right now but we'll see i i do think that you know they'll probably be up in the air with the, the protocols you know for a couple months but that doesn't mean we can't do something and, and get creative uh i have the idea just an idea this is a, just a thought is to uh have drive-in masses where we uh are able to have the mass and then give out communion on patents and have a patent like 10 people serving patent and uh, i would give communion out or whoever we in uh, gloves with gloves and then they would be sterilized after each each time you know uh and do it that way so that's just a thought but uh that's kind of where we're at and uh let's see yeah i don't know I, I don't know much else uh other thing i just want to share with you pray for my dear friend father bob in oregon father bob had triple bypass surgery today with a valve replacement so it was big big surgery uh bob has diabetes he has high blood pressure he's overweight uh, but they said the surgery went all right so that's good and that's uh uh, uh it, it went well i might be heading up there on friday just to see how he's doing i might go up to oregon for a few days so that's where i'm at but uh, you know god gives us uh, people to help us get through and he was a big gift to me in the seminary and the priesthood as you come out and it's a it's a it can be a very overwhelming thing but it's good to, to have friends in with you in the in the trenches as a, a lot of things are coming at you so uh and i will be actually talking about him in my homily this weekend and, uh, what he's kind of gone through. So, uh, so I'm just going to pray for you, pray with you, and then you can unmute yourselves and just, you know, say hi and uh, connect with everybody. So, uh, uh, loving Lord, we thank you uh, for your love for us that you do not quit, you do not stop, you do not give up, that you are faithful to uh, be merciful to us. And we thank you that uh, you continue to uh, draw us together into your kingdom, into your community. And Lord, we just pray that you would be the center of it all, that you'd be raised up in our midst. We pray for your Holy Spirit as we anticipate Ascension and Pentecost, that uh, we can open our hearts to the newness and the power and the beauty of your life, working in new and wonderful ways, enlighten our minds, give us wisdom going forth as we know that uh, what it's about is knowing you and, and being uh, together and knowing you and sharing that love. That's what heaven is. So we pray for that now. And we pray for all the people that don't know that uh, we can be instruments of your peace, your grace, and your salvation. I pray that God would be with you and your families. And for those that uh, uh, just that are on your heart right now, maybe for those situations and for uh, those relationships that just need the power and the wisdom and the healing of Christ. And I ask God to bless you this night and forever in the name of the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Love you guys. It's good to see you. And you can open it up. It's uh, open game season. <laughs> Thank you, you, Father. God bless. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For Bob. That yes. he may heal quickly. Okay, okay. Hi, you all. I love you. Drive by on Sunday. Drive okay. through. Okay. Drive through. Okay. Okay. Sunday donut drive through. Drive in. Drive through on Sunday. Good night, everybody. God bless. God bless. God bless you. <laughs> God bless you, you fellow sinners. It's like a, it's like a bingo game. It's a free for all. This is number 21. I can't oh my goodness. Isn't that great? It's so great. It's all ready for the holy funny farm. Great. How many of you been drinking? That's my question. <laughs> oh my goodness. You guys, it's so good to see everybody. Come here. Yeah, well, this is nice. It's really great. Come here. Curran and Elia. Here's my rose on Sunday. Elia. Hi, Leticia. My rose. Come. 
I'll be there for my donut on Sunday. <laughs> That's okay, right. They may have donuts in the morning. Esther. Hi, Esther. Hi, Hi, Nancy. Hi, 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 Where's Mr. Hi, 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 Oh, Suzanne, mutual. and we'll make our own Zoom, okay? Just text me and we'll make our own Zoom, okay? <laughs> we'll That's make a good our idea. own group. Thank we love you. you all. How are you, Carol? God bless you all. God bless everybody. It's so good to see you. Oh, yeah. Nice to see you. you. It's so wonderful to have you oh. in my life. I have to tell you. Thank you. Thank you. You're going to make us cry. Oh. No. No, I love you. Who are you talking about? I'm talking oh. about you, Leona, and Suzanne. Oh. There's Father John. <laughs> sure. Well, we love you. I love you too, Sherry. I've known you for years now. <laughs> <laughs> You know me, the good, the bad, and the ugly, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> as well, Sherry. Everyone. I love you. Love you too, Sherry. You're the best. You are. You really are. Good lady. Bye-bye. Yes. God bless you all. I love you. This is the best. Let's do Adoration Drive-In again. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's do a drive-in